So it's pretty common if you are into self-development or know a thing or two about self-development that the way that you think has an effect on the kind of things that you experience, both internally in the internal world and externally in the external world. If you are someone who thinks good thoughts or positive thoughts, then chances are you are going to think more good thoughts, more positive thoughts, have more positive thoughts, which means you are going to feel better. And because you feel better, your state is going to be elevated and you are going to experience a very different quality of life and of living than if you were someone who thought negatively all the time and operated from a negative state of being. But in addition to our thoughts, the things that we say our words also have a very drastic effect on the types of things that we experience because they also have energy associated with them. The things that you say to yourself, to other people matter. And when you ask for guidance, for example, for what it is you should be doing and how you can impact people in a positive way and help other people, the universe is going to respond to that request and give you the insights that are going to help you make that contribution or make that impact. And that's really what I want to talk about in this recording. So many people nowadays want certain things from a very egoic standpoint. They want the relationship, they want the money, they want the business, they want the car, they want this, they want that. And it comes from a place of ego. They think they want something and they crave things out of ego and they try manifesting things from an egoic standpoint. And I just don't think that's the way that you're going to get the highest level of fulfillment when you do things like that, when you operate from that egoic space. By the way, this is inspired by something that I listen to. And I just want to talk about it in my own way because I think this concept is super important and hopefully this genuinely resonates. And I genuinely think that this can have a very, very big effect on the way that you perceive your purpose or what it is you should be doing if you internalize the things I'm about to say in this recording. So like I said, so many people nowadays think about what it is they want to experience for themselves and that's it. It has no effect on other people. They just want to experience what it is they want to experience for them and that's it. And of course, it's good to know what it is you want and as Napoleon Hill says in Thinking Grow Rich, having a desire for what it is you want, knowing what it is you want is important. But when you desire things and want things from an egoic place, it's not really going to give you the fulfillment that you think it's going to give you. When you do things from an egoic place, I don't think that you are truly in alignment with what it is you should be doing and your highest purpose. Now, when you do things from your highest purpose and your giving and contribution, eventually you are going to get everything that you want, at least I think. The things that you want right now, the things that you seemingly want from an egoic perspective, you are going to get and experience to a much greater degree when you're operating from your highest purpose, when you're giving and in contribution to the whole, the world. So this one question that I want you to ask yourself and the purpose of this recording is really just ask yourself this one thing and I think it can change the way that you perceive experiencing your purpose or your highest purpose. The question is how can I have a deeper awareness and understanding of my highest contribution or purpose so I can provide more value to the world? When you ask how can I know my purpose deeper? How can I have an awareness of my purpose more? When you connect with that and you say those things and you ask the universe or God or the world or your higher self, whatever you want to say, when you ask for that clarity, you are going to get it. And because you are not coming from a place of ego, you're coming from a place of like what it is you should genuinely be doing in your highest contribution. Not only are you going to feel inspired and enthused by the work that you do, but you're going to impact people on a way, way larger scale in a positive way so if you don't know what it is you should be doing right now ask for it what is my highest contribution how can i provide more value to other people and live my purpose authentically 
And if you feel like you are in some way, shape or form living out your purpose, which we all are, which I'll get into in a second. But if you do feel like you are doing the thing that you are meant to be doing, ask for more clarity, ask for an acceleration or more momentum doing what it is you should be doing so you can impact people to a even greater degree. People sleep on asking for guidance. Like it's cool to know what it is you want and it's cool to feel like you are in alignment with that purpose. That is an incredible feeling, but ask for guidance on your journey from your higher self or the universe or God. Ask for it and you will get it when you connect with presence. You will get it when you connect with your intuition and you are going to feel even more enthused by the work that you do and you're going to feel even more in alignment. The work that you do is going to resonate with more people and keep in mind the things that you want, like the actual desires that you have, you are going to experience them in such an incredible way where it feels so genuinely fulfilling to experience them because it's in alignment with your highest purpose. So we're all technically living out our purpose in the moment, even though it may not seem like it. So if you're in a position right now where you don't want to be in or you, you're in unfavorable circumstances, you're still technically living out your purpose to some degree because as Eckhart Tolle says, we have an inner and outer purpose. So our inner purpose is whatever we're doing in the present moment and our outer purpose is what we seemingly think about when we think about our purpose. Like our calling in life is our outer purpose. By connecting more deeply with our inner purpose, we connect with our outer purpose. So there's still purpose in whatever it is you're going through, even if it's unfavorable. If you're in a bad spot right now, trust that there are lessons and valuable insights to learn within that moment that's going to help you live out your calling later on. The season that you're in, there's still lessons and valuable insights that are going to help you grow from that state. So tying back to my original point, instead of thinking about what it is I can get, how can I experience more? Ask the universe, what is it that I should be doing and how can I provide more value to other people now? Like, what is it that I should be doing in this very moment? When you ask that question openly and you open yourself up to receive through presence, through being in the moment, so you aren't distracted by other things, like you're just an open vessel, you're in alignment with what it is you should be doing. You're in alignment with your highest purpose. And the things that you want are going to flow effortlessly from that state and you're going to experience them to such a greater degree. When you get things that you want, but it comes from a place of ego, it's cool to get them, but you really aren't going to experience them to the highest possible degree because you're always going to want something more because your ego is never satisfied. Your ego will never be satisfied. It's always going to want more and more and more and crave more and more and more and compare what you have to other people. But when you're operating from your highest possible purpose, when you're asking for that guidance on what it is you should be doing to provide more value to other people and what the universe wants from you and what the universe wants to do through you, you're not operating from ego. You're operating from a place of service and contribution. And you're going to get the things that you want, but because it's in alignment, that's when you'll genuinely feel the fulfillment that comes with it. When you do things that you're actually meant to be doing, or what the universe wants to do through you, it, you, the energy that you're vibrating from, the energy that you're giving off into the world, like you're actually doing something that feels in alignment with what it is you should be doing, like you're calling. The energy that you give off into the world is next level. And I'm sure we've all met somebody or seen somebody, maybe somebody in the public eye or someone you look up to, someone who is seemingly doing their life's work. And the energy that they give off is so magnetic. The things that they say pull you in, it entices you, just the way that they carry themselves. You can tell they're doing something that they're meant to be doing and they're helping other people while they do it. So ask, what am I called to do? What am I here for? Connecting with stillness and presence is going to help you get that answer, but also just asking. Ask the universe, what is it that I should be doing and how can I provide more value to other people? In what medium 
should I be doing the things that I'm doing so I can help other people or contribute more to the world? And when you think about it from this perspective, instead of just narrowing your focus and thinking from an egoic sense, what do I want? Ask, what can I give? What do you want to do through me, essentially? What does the universe want to do through me? You are going to get such a larger lens on life and experience the fulfillment of what it is you actually want to such a higher degree because you're doing things that resonate with your core. And that feeling, the energy that you get from that is untouchable. Also, you're going to experience up and downs and, and uncertainty and maybe resistance while on this journey to fulfilling what it is you should be doing. But that's all part of it. Like, There's lessons and in, in valuable insights that you're going to get from any journey that you're on. But that being said, the conviction and belief and faith in yourself that you get when you know that you're doing work that helps other people and that you're genuinely supposed to be doing that doesn't go away so while you're on your journey you may still face resistance there's still things that we need to learn in order to grow and those lessons may come in different ways and and in ways we don't necessarily expect and maybe we have to fall in order to get up and learn something but the conviction that you have in yourself is always there when you know deep down that you're doing work that you're passionate about and doing work that you're meant to be doing also the things that you want will come from that state but you may have to do things that the universe wants to do through you that you may not necessarily want but it's for the greater good of the world but i promise you you're still going to experience the fulfillment of the things that you want because you're doing things that you're meant to be doing and you'll only really be able to tell and develop a greater appreciation for the things that you should be doing and actually enjoy doing the things that you should be doing with time like it doesn't necessarily happen instantly oh this is exactly what i'm supposed to be doing and i love this like you have to grow into it sometimes it takes time to actually realize this is what i'm called to do this is what i'm meant to do and i'm actually enjoying doing this and keep in mind our purpose also changes you may be in a season right now where you feel like you're called to do something but in a year from now it may be something else whatever you genuinely feel is in alignment with what it is you should be doing right now you are supposed to give that to the world at this moment and maybe in a year from now it's something new it's something else something that you may not know yet but you will genuinely feel this sense of alignment and connection when you're doing something that is genuinely on purpose with what it is you should be doing in your highest purpose so ask are you doing what is genuinely in alignment or what you should be in alignment with at the moment and if the answer is no open yourself up to answers quiet yourself be in this state where you're open to the insights and intuition that you will get from the world by being present and you will get the information necessary to allow yourself to do what you should be doing and if you are in a position right now where you are doing what you should be doing you feel like you are in alignment with your purpose great and ask for more guidance so you can deeper that purpose and provide more value to other people but you will know when you are in alignment with your purpose it's going to feel right you're going to feel this sense of conviction internally and that's a great feeling i'm recording this episode right now and i genuinely feel like the work that i'm doing and presence of being and everything that we're building is what i should be doing at least for now who knows if that will change in five years maybe it will maybe it won't i don't know but i feel like when I get present and I get quiet, I get intuition. I'm able to be open to that intuition and then act in ways that feel in alignment with what it is I should be doing. So, and it's a cool feeling. But all it is is asking for guidance. Instead of being like, I want this, I want that. I'm gonna manifest this, I want this. I want this so I can do this. And it's me, 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 ego, 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 ego. Put ego aside. And from the lens of actually helping other people and providing more to the world, because that's how you actually get, what is it that I should be doing? How can I deeper my understanding of what it is I should be doing so I can provide more value to other people in this very moment? Ask. Ask for guidance. You're going to know when you're in alignment with your purpose and what it is you should be doing. But seek to give. And I promise you that you will experience the things that you want because it's going to feel connected. You're going to feel energized. And that's a great feeling. 
also don't think that this only really applies to like what it is you should be doing with your life and like this grand big purpose mission vision for your life like your purpose could genuinely just be a good listener for somebody else do you know what i mean like your purpose could be just to be present within this moment so the next person you interact with feels safe and secure speaking to you and then they go and are more confident in doing what they should be doing like it doesn't have to be this massive grand big vision for your life like it can be your purpose right now is to do this within this moment so you can help yourself or help other people and asking for that guidance and clarity just allows you to figure out what it is you should be doing now so it doesn't need to be like this massive thing so sit with this I hope this has provided some value, but just ask, just ask, what is it that I should be doing? How can I provide more value to other people? What can I do to deepen the understanding of my purpose and my calling? See what happens, see what comes up, connect with presence, connect with your intuition through presence, you know, meditate on this for a bit and see what comes up, see what pops up. You're gonna be able to notice the signs and synchronicities externally that confirm what you know to be true within you once you do this once you get quiet and you're actually able to receive the information from the universe and i know this is super spiritual <laughs> but just try it out see see what pops up see what comes up so i hope this recording has provided some value if it has dm me on instagram at presence of being or leave a review on the podcast if you haven't that would i would greatly appreciate that and I'll see you in the, in the next recording.